I threw my pie for you. What is up, good orange people coming at y'all with another Orange is a New Black Theory video. Now, I know you read the title and you're like, oh my god, how do you know? How did you figure it out? She doesn't seem like a killer. What? No, not her. Well, if she killed somebody, why is she in minimal security? She'd be at max. All right, first of all, let's talk about that real quick because I see this comment a lot. I mean, a lot. For some reason, y'all think that only murderers go to max. Y'all forgot about there's two inmates who've killed somebody who's in Litchfield, Yoga Jones and Norma. They both have killed somebody and yet are at Litchfield right now. So murder doesn't always equal max. So let's get that out the way. Secondly, why I think that Kukudio is a murderer is because she killed a man without even thinking about it. She killed somebody almost just like it was a Tuesday. She killed Humphreys, who I'm not saying didn't deserve it or anything like that. But she killed him without really thinking about it twice. Like she did it and she would be like, you know what? I'm hungry. Let's go have some yogurt. So I'm starting to think that possibly Kakudio killed somebody, but probably not directly. Now, there are a lot of theories running through my head, but here's the one I've sort of put together that I think may make the most sense. First, let's take that scene way back where she tried to convince Crazy Eyes to live with her in a house and tried to make believe it was made of gingerbread and convince her to lick the paint and they live out there and live on lead paint and... <laughs> <laughs> and tree bark for the rest of their lives. I feel like that's a part of her crime where she may have convinced somebody to do something harmful to themselves or to another person. She seems like somebody who can easily talk somebody into something. Now, it may not have worked on Crazy Ass because she may be a little off her rocker, but she got a lot of fucking common sense. Remember when she went into the office with Caputo? Remember how she went from like talking crazy about a gingerbread house in the woods to talking to him, almost hustling him out of her getting into trouble? Didn't that weird? Didn't you see the personality switch? You also saw her personality switch a third time when it was her and Crazy Eyes when they were held in the room and they were made to fight. And how she sort of snapped into this other person. You also saw another Kakudio when they were in the janitor's closet. And she sort of just like, uh, when she was, I guess you could say, pleasing Suzanne. And then she stopped with this like cold stare. Like this dead stare. And then walked out. So, if I'm counting right. That's about four different, almost five different personalities you see. Now, she hasn't been, we hadn't seen her diagnosis or anything, but I'm going to lean on she may have some multiple personality disorder. I know it goes by another name now. Please calm down out there. I just can't think of the name right now. So, I believe that possibly she was with someone or with a group of people and concocted some crazy ass scheme. And this scheme hurt someone. And when confronted with evidence that this happened, possibly she used one of her many personalities to talk her way out of like the, the maximum severe penalty and got charged something less. It's just you got to watch a character like her and what she does and what she says. She's smart as fuck. She's a talker. She can talk you out of your draws if she wanted, if she wanted to. And she can kill without thinking about it twice. She almost does it as if it's a game. So for what Kakudio did that seemed so mysterious in this folder that Caputo was looking at, it could have been possible that we see a news clip somewhere where there might have been some type of cult 
of some or some kind of group that she was a part of or a leader of and possibly convince these people in this group to do something horrible. Could people have died? Possibly. Like I said, she killed Humphreys without thinking about it. So it could be that. She could have convinced a person to hurt themselves. You have seen there's a case right now about the girlfriend who convinced her boyfriend to commit suicide via text message. So there are these sick individuals out there who can do that to people. Convincing that person that I love you, this is the right thing to do. You should do it. You should do it. And then, like, say, when Caputo looked at this file folder and it's like, possibly this suburban silver spoon, you know, maybe probably even like from a religious family background was a person who ended up doing this to another person. You, you would look at that twice too. You'd be like, um, damn, really? And then, you know, her, even her comment was like, huh? Yeah. You know, well, yeah. it's like, so I'm thinking that it wasn't that she was like really the black sheep of the family more so that she just hit it very well under different versions of herself. And it wasn't until she got caught that that one version, that dangerous version came out. That is my theory on Kukudio, okay? That is my theory. I probably will change it three times before season six comes out. I hope we get a flashback of who she really is and what she really did. I know it's been a debate between me and you guys out there, but really looking at her throughout, you know, since she got here, and the things she said, the way she talks, the way she acts, the different sides of her you've seen. It's really, you got to think, hmm, could she have used her, her very expert way of talking her way out of things, talking people into things and different personalities? Could that all have been combined to do something horrible to someone or have somebody do it to themselves? Y'all know me. I could be wrong. And, and, and to the people, I just want to say, these people aren't subscribers for the most part, and that's fine. And they wait and love to hear one of my theories, and then I, and it not come happen, that it doesn't happen. And then they're like, aha, you were wrong. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I try my best to be right. I try my best to research these characters, research these episodes, research things, go deeper as I possibly can. But these are what they are. They're theories. They're assumptions. They're fun. So for you to write a paragraph and a half in my comment section to tell me how wrong I am, hey man, congratulations on spending your time wisely. Thank you guys who are subscribed. Thank you so much for the love and support for these videos. I'm going to keep making them as long as this show goes on. I'll probably make it a year after these shows go off. Thank you so much. Hey, and go check out my other videos because I know I was just joking and saying that. But yeah, once Orange is New Black ends, yeah, you know, I'm going to need you guys to go watch other stuff, you know? I'm going to need you to go watch all the other videos I make. I put up an Ozark video today. Go watch that. It's an awesome show if you haven't watched it already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you guys next time.